guys, it's Jason, and in today's video, we are starting part 3 of my playthrough on Alone in the Dark. In the last video, we solved a bunch of puzzles, and we ventured out into new areas. So now, today, we are in a brand new area, which is our objective is to... What again? The odious stench of a flooded cemetery caught him off guard. Cemetery? It was one of the many things that clued Detective Conby in on that this place wasn't the real thing. This was some nightmarish surrogate patched together by Jeremy's tattered memories. This is why we bury above ground, he thought, and set off to find the chapel that Jeremy had mentioned. Yeah, so we're going to look for Jeremy inside the chapel. Also, we're still on chapter 2, so... Yeah, because chapter 2 is seems to be a long chapter, so... I ended it here. We're going to finish it in this video and get started on chapter 3. Handgun ammo? Okay. So the chapel... So it's now over here. We're in the cemetery, so the chapel seems to be right here. Where's the chapel at? Okay, map is no use. Okay, so we're just going to eyeball it. Okay, this cemetery here has a pretty cool atmosphere. Oh my god. Edward, how are you not phased by this? Chapel seems to be in there. Okay. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna see what we can find. What are shotgun shells doing in a cemetery? Okay, we're in the chapel. The Hartwoods family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was Yankee like. Yeah. Okay, so. Somewhere here. Is this the chapel? I would assume we. It is. Where's Jeremy at? Jeremy has to be somewhere here. Can I open this? Okay, this is showing someone here. So this seems to be a clue. Or unless this is not the chapel. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. What's in there? Now what do we got here? A hollow door. There's something missing. Yeah, there is something missing. Is it this? What's this? Is it for here? Ah, a puzzle. Got it. That was easy. A sledgehammer? Perfect. Okay, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. In here? Oh, the other side. Okay, that's our previous weapon. Wow, okay, so we're on the other side now. Oh, a dead, a dead guy. Hey! Nice try. But that isn't gonna work on me today, buddy. Yep, you stay down. Shotgun shells. I need to I need to start using my shotgun. Wait, is this the chapel? Oh yeah, this does look like a chapel. Okay. Well, let me guess. We have a puzzle, right? Let me sketch this chapel in the book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though. More medallions. Okay, yeah. That's actually a good point. So, we're gonna have to start looking around, then. Explore the cemetery. You know what? I, like, I actually like the cemetery here. The cemetery actually... looks really good in this game. It's... Atmospheric, it's scary, 
And that's what I like. Oh, hi. Good job, Edward. You got his ass. Wait, what's this? Is this another medallion? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, so let's explore the cemetery here. I'm not gonna lie, this is, I think, my favorite part of the game. Sneak, yeah, I know, I know. But then again, I, I don't feel like doing stealth. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, let me try throwing stealth. Okay. Okay, well. Yeah, but you killed him. You killed him, man. Don't worry. Okay, let me heal up. Okay. My weapon broke. Stop whining, dude. You you have a gun, okay? There you go, you're good, you're good. What's in here? Anything for me? That's blocked. Okay. Thanks for locking me in here. Jeremy, was that you that locked me in here? I would assume you did. Because you're trying to play tricks on me, man. Okay, what... What else is here? I mean, I have to get out somehow. Oh, you're good. Is there anything for me here? Like, anything else? Ha! <laughs> Y'all thought you can lock me in here, can you? No, you cannot. See, there you go. Edward, you good? Good. Medallion? Just some gun. Okay, we're going downstairs. Oh, hi. Were you stuck? What kind of gun does... Edward have. I wonder if Emily has a gun. Wait, did I pick up the item? I, I hope I did. Oh shit. What's in here? Wait, another medallion? Full of shotgun shells, but I'm not full of this. Aha. Hmm. What do you mean? Hmm. You're trying to get in. You're trying to get into a chapel. I'm gonna start using my shotgun. Oh hi. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting through. Oh, what's over here? Okay, good. Okay, 
Okay, let me reload. So it can only hold two bullets. Okay, got it. And my handgun can only hold up to six bullets. Okay. You alright in there? No, he, he he's just resting in peace. Okay. Alright, I gotta explore this underground mine. Okay, what else is here? Can I leave? Oh, okay, good, I'm out. What? What the heck were you doing in there? Wait, what? Oh, hi. Oh, God. God, leave. Get me out of here. Go. God, just leave. Okay. Okay. Reload this. There you go. My shotgun's good. Okay, so we can get out in both sides. Okay, I see, I see. Well, okay, is he came in from here, right? Okay, let's get in here. That only has to be here, right? Great, a ladder. Like, I'm sure it has to be down here. Liquid or something? Okay. Okay. What the hell is happening here? Am I gonna go through a horde of enemies again? Is it for this door? Oh, I got it right. Okay, but how about the chapel, though? Okay, I'm exploring a cave now, I guess. Here we are, we're exploring a cave. Okay. Ah, skulls. Nice. Let me heal up. Okay. Can I heal up again or? Okay, good. I don't know where I'm going, but. Here we are. We're exploring. Oh. Okay. Where's the enemy at? Scream, stop? The hell just happened? I tried killing him. 
My health is going down so quick. Okay, I'm gonna ready up with my shotgun and stuff. That was my first death in this game. Okay. L let me get this kill real quick. Okay, we're back. So it turns out I have to. Turns out I literally just had to run. Like there was no way I could fight through all of them. I didn't even know there was a horde. I had no idea there was a horde of enemies. But damn. That was insane. I, I just had to run. Okay, what's up? What's up? Can I get in or? Okay, puzzle time. Okay, do I okay, rotate? Place medallion. Actually, no, I'm cheating. I am cheating because I can. I mean, what's the solution to this puzzle here? Oh, okay, so... Here, 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 okay. Okay, so... This shit has to go up here. The eagle has no not not there. Eagle has to go here. The hand has to go here. Okay, there we go. That was an easy puzzle. So how y'all doing? So I had no idea I had to run in that segment. But thankfully that's over because that actually was pretty intense. Who's that? It's not Jeremy because because that that looks like a lady. Who even is that actually? Please don't touch her. Jeremy. Oh, it's Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know, it, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with someone the dark man who is he no 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 don't say his name he can hear us he's always listening always listening jeremy i need to understand what is going on you have any answers I jeremy ask him everything when the sun rises i will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and DeSetto won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. And what's all the sure business about Terraway? Why did you want to go there? Oh, I can't go there. Not allowed. What do you mean? But you wanted to. Can yeah. I go? 
Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should I- Look out! Behind you! Uh oh Oh. Run! Don't let him take you! What? Do I have to run? What's going on? Wait, am I back here? Oh, I'm back here. I thought I, I had to go on a chase scene for a minute or a boss battle. Okay, now I have this. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then bind out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Terroya. Oh, my love, Jim. Terroya, okay. So that's, so that's how you say it. So this, so this is what the letter is about. Is that Jeremy's wife in the coffin? I'm gonna assume that is. And we have a new key. Okay, talk to Jeremy in the chat with the dusty achievement. Wait, who is this? She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Yeah. Okay, so what's the objective now? Perose's body looked unharmed. Combi couldn't figure out how she died, or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the people at the Seto. Okay, so so that's Perosi. Okay, unlock Jeremy Streamer trunk. Wait, I think I remember where that is. I've seen it in another room. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna unlock it and see what's in there. Okay, if I remember correctly, it's in here, right? Is it in here? Oh wait, no, 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 no. Has to be in here. Because that's where me and Emily were at earlier. So this is it, right? Okay, here it is. Barlow lens, okay, great. A telescope lens. Why would he lock that up? In the draw room to look for answers in the stars. The drawing. Jeremy had found a way to enter. Yeah. Where's the drawing room at? Okay, so I'm upstairs. Okay, cool, cool. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna see what we can find. So anyway, I'll cut back to when I reach there. We're back. We're in the drawing room. So we're we're in the drawing room. So now we're gonna. Okay, zoom into the stars. Okay, and adjust the focus. Oh, so we have stars here. Okay, anything else here? Okay, there's the focus. Oh. Is this supposed to be a puzzle? Okay. Okay, here we go. That actually took me a second. Okay, the talisman oh. coordinates for... For what? That actually took me a minute. Okay, 941 is what I found. Wait, do I have to connect the lines here? Oh, brother. Okay, I have to do some connecting. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I can. Can I rotate? No, I can't. Okay, I'm stupid. Oh, okay. I think I, I think I see where I'm where I'm getting at here. Okay. Shit. I think I'm getting this here. Okay. Uh, is this it? Okay, there we go. Nine four one. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? Where am I going? Wait, am I still at the house? What's, Another what's world that? seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious tearaway? The gate will open in the dining room. Okay, there's a gate open here? I mean, it showed right here in the fireplace. More or less, I go out. Dining room. Where's that again? Okay, let me actually leave this place. Yeah, I think I just accessed the dining room. That took me a minute because originally, the other door was another door right there was supposed to open. Here we go. Hang on a second. Alright, now that's open. But okay, that was supposed to open, but for some reason it didn't. So oh. I just went upstairs More and then found a piece of rot. Alright, let's go. On the commonplace of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence. Careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin. It is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light, prophets of confidence, always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. All right, wow. So yeah, this should open. Wow. Okay, anything else for me to find in here or what's up? What's up? Oh. Alright, here we are. We're on chapter three now. Okay. Let let's keep this going, shall we? Let's keep this going. So we finished chapter two. Now we're gonna go on to chapter three. We're, we're going to try to complete as much as we can. If not, then we'll save it for part four, which will be tomorrow's video. Oh. Hello. This must be from the past. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has this yet This must be event. Jeremy from the past. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? 
My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Oh, it's not Jeremy. And this Jeremy. is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have Tarawea. to excuse me. Over in Tarawea, but that's right. Jeremy never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. What did they have the job, man? I'm the author of a book that Jeremy once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Jeremy's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Jeremy has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. All <laughs> <I> right. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Jeremy's relationship with the dark man. Okay, so the library... It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Jeremy with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. He doesn't know You'd much. be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for the a dark long, man. long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. You have a gun, all right? Well, you have a gun and a shotgun. So you'll be fine, man. Don't worry about it. Don't stress it, all right? All right. All right. Conby felt confused by the pleasant nature of Terawea. It was somehow uncomfortable to him. Juan, the sweater-wearing Buddha, wasn't helping either. According to Conby, people just weren't meant to be this nice and genuine. Best to hurry off to the library, he thought, and see if he could find information about Jeremy's relationship with the dog man. All right, so I can't use my map here. All right, so we're going to have to eyeball it. All right, Juan, thank you, man. Okay, the library around here. Okay, good. I, I guess I, I'm gonna try using my gun. Let's see what happens. Most likely not gonna work, but it's worth a try. Okay, through here or is it in here? Oh, okay, it's in here because I see the circle. Okay, the, the dark man is gonna be here. I have to go down here now. Ugh. Don't be so loud, man. The dark man's gonna hear you. Am I crazy or what? Okay. 
something's gonna jump out at me any minute now. Let's make our way around here. Okay, interesting. Interesting stuff here. There's something missing. Yeah, there is something missing. That's a good point here. The dark man's gonna be here. Keep shaking. Why does it keep fucking shaking here? Key item. I knew it. Okay, I just wanted to experiment, so now I know where to go. Why is the music popping off? Okay, just get the fussy, please. Yeah. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> oh, 
come and get me. All right. All right, Dark Man. Let's go. That took me a sec to complete. But that was actually great. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Oh, hi. Hey. Welcome back, Dark Man. <laughs> Detective! What? What? I hope you found what you were looking for. Is he gonna be a boss battle later in the game? This is giving me a bit, a bit of Resident Evil vibes. I was so close. Like the infection there must and stuff. be something I can work with. Come on, Garby, think. Think. Shipping come. Prexed. Right. Good luck, detective. I like how he's so persistent in keeping his hat on. Oh. You again. Thank God you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth, Ruth Talon. Talon. Okay. In case you're wondering. Miss Ruth Talon. Okay. Edward Carnby. Of course. Hey. And of course, Edward Carnby. Are you sure? I had too many already. You've been through a lot. Nice. Detective. It's good. I know. I have great taste, detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder. If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the dark man. I saw mm -hmm. it in a dream once. What? Yeah, what? Okay, bye, Miss Talant. Or you can just dance. You know the Prex shipping company by any chance? I do. They the made big money business. during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bon chance. Is she, is she trying to hey, kill with him? Have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? Okay. You're no, trying I to holler. No, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. You're trying to... Okay. Do what I'm thinking of. Okay. Yeah, okay. Press Thanks for taking me to New Orleans, Miss Talon. Okay, do I go in here? Block from the other side. You're 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> so now what? Oh! Wow. Can't tell if that was a new enemy or not, but hey, we're in New Orleans now. We're not in Dorsetto anymore. Or in Tallaheo, if that's what the name of the place was. But yeah, guys, so far I'm having a great time with the game. I think it's definitely one of the best survival horror games I've played, aside from Resident Evil. Okay, that's locked. So aside from Resident Evil... This is one of the best survival horror games I've played. Get this. And I know an enemy is about to pop out. Get ready. Machine gun? Dude, we're getting a machine gun soon? We're getting a new gun. Oh shit. Now, now that'll be great. Let's have a new weapon here. Okay, we're good. In we go. What? Where the hell did you come from? Insane. I don't know where those enemies came from. They just came out of nowhere. Hey, we're in the sewers now. Okay. Okay, where are we at now? Where in the sewers are we at? Okay. Oh, okay, so this is deeper into the sewers.
Hey, bud. Did I wake you up? Oh, spiders. Let me guess, we're dealing with spiders in this bitch? I think we are. Let me chase. Yeah, I was being chased, okay. What's in here? Oh, what's this? More health items, okay. Fire poker? What? There are gonna be all these weapons. But yeah, it's uh, it's probably just melee and shit. Which I think is awesome. Oh! That's right! Machine gun! Hey, I always wanted to try one of these. Well, there you go, Carnby. New weapon. Safe code, okay. Alright, you know, I think this is a good place to end the video, so... Our ship was raided while in dock. After this. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What? is left. Later is right. And hell is back again. Alright. Well, as I, as I was saying, this is a good place to stop the video, so you know what? Thank you all so much for watching part 3 of my playthrough on Alone in the Dark. If you enjoyed the series, you can move on to the next episode, and you can subscribe to be notified for future videos like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, if you did enjoy, I'll of course see you for part 4. Take care, everybody. Bye.